Thank you very much, Sir Roger. And if I could just extend um, my thoughts to the member for Poplar and Limehouse, who has obviously been targeted, um, particularly during the last very difficult month. And it reminds me very much of what the member for Barking talked about as a Jewish MP when she was also targeted. And it does seem to be even um, more intense for women MPs. And I'm very grateful to the Office of the Speaker and the team of the Speaker who have reached out more than once in the last month to us as MPs to um, re-engage over safety concerns. And I do hope that my honourable friend will have taken up um, the practical measures which the House has put um, in. And the Speaker has been exceptional in introducing so many new measures to help MPs um, at this critical time when foreign policy is so sensitive. But um, in approaching organisations like Tell Mama UK, which looks at the numbers of attacks on Muslims and also the uh, Community Safety Trust, which also records the alarming rise uh, and increase in attacks on the Jewish community, it really underlines the importance of security uh, and the importance of taking a record and making sure that we are as safe as we possibly can be. And the theme of security did come up in the King's speech. And I was very pleased that the King mentioned the sensitive time that we are going through at the moment because he has got a record on uh, interfaith work. And one of the most um, helpful things I did during the prorogation of the House was actually to attend two synagogues in my constituency where I was um, involved in prayers for Israel and also to uh, attend uh, the LICS mosque in my constituency as well and also the interfaith group um, which meets uh, every couple of months in the constituency normally to discuss interfaith work but obviously in the context of the unfolding tragedy in Israel and Gaza to talk about uh, how we as a community can respond to the horror of the attacks uh, which Hamas perpetrated on south of Israel on the 7th of October, one month ago today, and the feelings of despair and sadness that the families feel whose, whose loved ones are still um, in tunnels somewhere in Gaza and of course the terrible television coverage and newspaper reports of the situation in Gaza. I think it was the Financial Times which described a week ago that they were running out of shrouds um, to wrap um, the fatalities in, in Gaza and um, they're also having to build mass graves which we know is a terrible um, moment for any humanitarian organisation and Sir Roger I'm very pleased that we will hear from the um, Minister tomorrow who will speak to the House about the update on the UK's role and it's so good to see the cross-party support for the UK's role in the humanitarian action that can be taken to try to save lives even at this most intense and difficult time.